As you probably know, once you start typing on the Apple Watch, there is the option and possibility to finish entering the text on an iPhone. And sometimes it may be useful, I guess, but a lot of times, at least in my personal opinion, it just gets really annoying because every time I just I just start typing something on the Apple Watch, like a word or sentence, in that moment I get the notification on my iPhone telling me I can continue on the iPhone, but I just don't want to get that all the time. So I'm going to be showing you how you can disable it. At first you should know that it doesn't apply to the Apple Watch, but to individual devices. So you're going to be, uh, you're going to have to disable it on each of the devices and you can keep some of them enabled. Anyways, you go to the settings and you don't find it in the Apple Watch section, but rather navigate to the notifications. And under the notification style tab or section, there are all of the apps which you have installed. But one of them is not really an app, but it is an Apple Watch keyboard. So if you click on it, you have a couple of options. So we can disable it altogether or just simply make it show up differently. You are now dealing with the regular notification settings. So you can, for example, make it not show up as a banner or just make it show up on the lock screen or in the notification center, but not gonna make it so like really immediate and just make things really disruptive. So you can just disable it altogether or change this kind of stuff. You can, for example, disable the sounds or you can maybe even announce the notifications, show previews, group notifications, make it show up in a scheduled summary instead of the immediate delivery. Everything is up to you, but like I said, if you have multiple iPhones which have and use the very same Apple ID, you're gonna have to disable it on each of the devices, because of course you may want to get it on the iPhone, but perhaps want to avoid it on the iPad. It's just how it works and you're just gonna have to get, get through all of this. The same principle applies to the uh, Apple TV keyboard, so if you again scroll down in this section you can disable Apple TV keyboard as well, because this feature is kind of the same and it can also be kind of annoying, I would say. So this is probably everything what you need to know about it. I really do hope that I gave you some important and useful information about this type of problem. Hopefully you found it helpful and in case you didn't leave a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. Leave a comment saying whatever you want. I will most likely get to you and reply to your comment. And yeah, I just want it to be as straightforward as possible. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss future uploads in case you don't want to miss videos like these in the, the future. And just want to make sure that they show up on your YouTube page. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. And we can see each other in the future. So I just wish you have a great, I just want you to have a great rest of the day and we can see each other later.